wanted to congratulate you and thank you for all you did throughout the event uh, around uh, Baal. I'm sure you, you, you might uh, be feeling unhappy because you did not uh, lift the trophy. But uh, I think you should be proud, you should be happy that uh, you made others proud as well. That is your countrymen and women, and everyone who was there uh, throughout the time. Um, your participation was very important, uh, not just for uh, patriots, but for, first of all, those who are your fans in the country, but, and many others, citizens who just looked at basketball as basketball, and I think they were happy that uh, uh, you participated well and effectively. Uh, secondly, you gave the meaning to our country's hosting of uh, Baal. Uh, that in itself is something you should be proud of. And I am sure what you did not achieve uh, this time around, you must be thinking of and planning to achieve it next time. Uh, winning and losing are part of life. Life, in life, in everything, you win some, you lose some. That's how it is. It doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter where you come from. There is always winning and losing. But the best way to look at it is that you may also win by losing. Or there is winning in losing. What do I mean? When you lose, don't waste that loss, because that loss brings to you lessons to learn. You say, what can I do better? What did I not do so well, and why? then in answering those questions, you make yourself better. And I think that is winning. If there is a process that makes you better, that is winning. So, and I'm saying though that don't waste that loss even if you did not become number one. Yes, you are number four. That is, you are at the top, even if you are not right at the top of the whole group that played. So, I think we, you should be proud, we are ourselves, and let's learn from that, what can we do better? And I think we can do better together. Uh, you, the patriots, those who support you, and even the government, the government which intends uh, through our sports ministry and other channels to do whatever you can to promote basketball, uh, 
Of course, as a country, we have to invest in other uh, sports activities as well. But there is your share, which you have earned already by being there and doing what you've been doing. So we promise we shall give you your share of support. Uh, so I think I'm sure as you uh, leave the bubble, and by the way, thank you for, uh, I think, keeping the discipline that was necessary and the professionalism and uh, everything else uh, to make your stay a safe one. Uh, I'm sure I have one as well. All that was necessary. So I think uh, you, you achieved many things really by doing what you did and how you did it. So I'm sure you leave this one, you need to leave this one behind us and then ready to go, we move on ahead, uh, right? So we wish you, we wish you success and uh, happiness and safety wherever you will go uh, after here. But I'm sure you are aware there is more work to do starting uh, soon after this uh, uh, competition you had around, all right? Good, so my word was as short as that, but I hope uh, from there we can build on. All right, thank you. I'd like to thank you also, and um, uh, not only for the support to the Minister of Sport, our DB, Visit Rwanda, but also your presence in the arena was uh, an honor and a big motivation for us. And um, I really believe um, that we make sure we, we make more, more steps ahead in a competition coming soon. Uh, many of us will be representing the country in a national team through the Federation and the Ministry and the, your hub. I think we will prepare well then to, to make a good statement also. And um, if you allow me, uh, uh, we have a gift for you. Thank you.